Welcome back to The Pulse. With us now is Kao Katarada, who is running for Clark County School Board of Trustee in District A. Carl, thank you for joining us. Yeah, absolutely. I'm excited to be here. So thank you so much to uh, Tito Sam and, and Joe. Thank you so much for being amazing leaders in our well, community. You're very welcome. Good to have you. Mm -hmm. Carl, please tell us about yourself first and what interested you in running for the school board in this election. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so uh, my name is Carl Ketterada, or Carl with a K. Uh, I am a uh, young professional. I have the opportunity to uh, run for the Clark County School Board, mm -hmm. District A in Henderson, Boulder City, Searchlight, and Laughlin. Okay. So more of the rural areas, but also in the mun municipality of Henderson and of Clark County. Um, if elected and when elected uh, this in the next 75 days, uh, I would be the first Filipino American on the Clark County School Board. Uh, we know that Clark County is America's fifth largest school district, mm -hmm. and I would bring my three R's, which are results for our students, focus on math and reading, resources for our teachers, and readiness, career and college readiness, making sure that our students are ready for a career yes. or ready for a college or university um, degree. So uh, your uh, District A includes, uh, you said Laughlin? Yeah, Boulder City, uh, Boulder City, Laughlin, and Searchlight, amazing people uh, from different communities all across District A. Uh, we have the opportunity to hear from so many different teachers, uh, educators, parents, and students from what uh, quality education looks for them. And I'm excited that uh, I'm always in Boulder City, so I love the people of Boulder City, and I look forward to uh, earning their trust again in the general election. Good to hear that. How does the Clark County School District uh, Board uh, differs from uh, being a university regent? Yes, so I ran for university regent back in 2022, so two years ago, uh -huh. uh, for the viewers back at home uh, who are uh, just tuning in. So I ran for office two years ago, mm -hmm. and uh, you know you can say uh, you can say I got my uh, butt kicked. I got my butt kicked. I learned all the hard lessons. Uh, I learned the hard lessons of mm -hmm. what does it mean to run for office. What yes. does it mean to earn the trust of your community, earn the trust of parents and students uh, all across uh, this amazing district. And I had the opportunity to hear from teachers and from educators and from students all alike running for uh, the university regent system. Uh, the university regent system, similar to the board, uh, school board here in uh, Southern Nevada, is also elected. Uh, I ran for that office. Um, I unfortunately did not win but I still earn that experience and the uh, understanding of what it means to hear from the community and uh -huh. hear from voters. And I was grateful that the voters uh, pushed me again to run for, for another education seat, which is the school board. So that's like a part of the learning curve. And this time, you have, you're, you're better, you know what to do. And then uh, it's the experience uh, from the 2022 that uh, made you stronger uh, in this election cycle. So how does the university regent operate versus uh, the board of trustee of a school district? Great question. So the university system oversees uh, the chancellor, the chancellor uh, at the university system. So the university system oversees Nevada State University, mm -hmm. also known uh, also known as Nevada State College. They changed their name recently. Uh, UNLV, UNR, Truckee Meadows, and many other different colleges like CSN um, and so forth. Um, that board of regents oversees the chancellor, and that chancellor has the opportunity to oversee what the presidents of those universities and colleges mm -hmm. uh, do. Yes. However, for the school board, the school board only has uh, one employee that they oversee, which is the superintendent. As we know, the Clark County School District, America's fifth largest school district, has been struggling in recent days. Uh, it has struggled for the past four years. Uh, it currently does not have a permanent superintendent. Uh, they are currently in a, um, like a substitute teacher. They have yes. a substitute teacher at the help. Uh -huh. uh, so they oversee the superintendent, <clears throat> the superintendent oversees those deputies, uh, and on the school board, you have the opportunity to have voting members and non-voting members. I'm running to be one of those voting members on the school board. So that's how they differ from the two. What are the, what is it uh, like a policy issue that you wanna bring to the board uh, if you get elected? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, uh, and thank you so much for this question. I'm so mm -hmm. uh, grateful for uh, the opportunity to talk about one of the policies that I would like to work on on the school uh, board. And at the school board, it's important that the school board doesn't 
Although the school board doesn't implement specific policies, the superintendent works to get those policies enacted. I but see. Uh, for me, I've had the opportunity to work in government uh, for, uh, well, since I was 16 years old. So I think I, I can you do a little- You started young, huh? Yes, yeah, started young, but maybe I could, uh, you know, uh, pull their shoulder a little bit when it comes to some <laughs> okay. issues. So um, in my role as a school board member, uh, it's gonna be a lot of oversight, 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 making sure we're looking at all the contracts, making sure all the policies, making sure that policies and performance is in place. But one issue I'm very curious about, one issue that I'm passionate about is road safety, making sure that students are safe in traffic uh, zones of the school zone. Uh, I, what was reported recently is more than 100 students have been hit or injured in a school zone. Well, Can you imagine uh -huh. that? Are you In a school zone, you have to go 25 miles an, an hour. You need to slow down. You need to slow down, be careful. You need to watch and make sure that you are not um, going over the speed limit. But more than 100 students still have been hit in a slow moving zone. Mm -hmm. That's a problem. That's yes. a problem and we're seeing that there are residents and there are voters who are not following the law, which is why I'm proud uh, to work hand in hand with uh, public safety officials all across District A, Henderson, Boulder City, Searchlight, and Laughlin, uh, to make sure that we empower residents and make them understand that road safety is an important issue that not only your city council person should be focused on, is your school board person should also be focused on that as well. So that's an issue that I'd like to tackle, address, and set specific benchmarks so that um, we protect our students. Yeah, because like, I think over the last five to 10 years, there's been a lot of crazy drivers right. roaming around in Las right. Vegas over the last you know years or so. Yes, yeah, there, crazy driving has absolutely been an issue and we've seen that reckless driving is also oh. um, a key factor. We need to make sure that we are preventing and reducing traffic incidents and injuries and deaths. And we need to make sure that, that people are talking people are talking with each other, right? Making sure that the school board is talking with law enforcement. We would need to make sure that law enforcement is talking with the school board. School board is talking to the county, the city, and making sure that it is a streamlined uh, effort to making sure that uh, what happens when it comes to zoning, transportation, and uh, students being in attendance to school, that when they walk to school, there are so many different factors that we need to work together in order to make sure that our students are successful and making sure that they're going to school safe, right? Carl, uh, is this an open seat or you're uh, challenging an incumbent? Uh, it is an open seat. It is okay. an open seat and I'm grateful to have had the opportunity uh, to speak with uh, many people about why I should run for this seat uh, before I uh, decided to go for it, but it's, it's currently an open seat. Are you uh, in, on the other side, or is your opponent one of those uh, who advocate, uh, you know, uh, book censorship and book burning? <laughs> I, I can't say for my okay. opponent. Yeah, I can't say for my opponent. I know that um, yeah. it's going to be an interesting I race, see. but I do know that I will always stand up for making sure that the freedom, the freedom and the ability to be able to have access to books. Um, I've also asked the, uh, my, my critics and my colleagues, you know, you want to ban specific books? That's your freedom of speech. Sure, you can say that. But just to let you know, that's not at the school board. Mm -hmm. Guess where that's at? The library district. The library <laughs> district is a separate, separate uh, district. Uh, mm -hmm. from the uh, school board mm -hmm. and I, I tell my colleagues I tell my colleagues who uh, you know send me emails and um, confront me at the at the um, at the uh, events that they say we want you to ban these books um, <laughs> it's a good uh, it's a good topic it's a good to it's a good topic and I, I like to uh, you know uh, smile at them and uh, and appreciate their thoughts mm -hmm. however yes. uh, the library district is the appropriate um, entity for that and um, I will always stand up for the freedom to have let our students research what they want to research at the age appropriate um, uh, time. Carl, thank you very much. We will leave it at that. Thank you for making yourself available today and good luck in your race. Thank you so much and thank you Joe for your leadership and Sam, thank you so much for your leadership in Nevada as well. You're very welcome.